Well, today marks six months since the murder of a local father of four, Jared Bradigan. And his murder has attracted national attention, even international attention, with investigators saying he was targeted on a Jacksonville Beach Road just outside the sanctuary neighborhood. Police believe after dropping off his twins at his ex-wife's home, he stopped to move this tire in the road, and that's when he was shot to death in front of his two-year-old daughter, strapped in her car seat until help arrived. Bradigan's widow and mother of his two youngest children says the grief has come in waves day after day. She spoke with our Katie Jeffries about how tough the pain is. She has tried to remain strong for her children and then also get justice for Jared. For Kirsten Bridegan, it's these moments Nobody can hurt you. I love you. that dig into her heart, already hurting from grief. Make sure the her daughter now worried about her mother's safety after she witnessed her father's murder six months ago. She was only two and a half at the time, and Bridegan says some days she understands her father is gone, but other days she talks about looking forward to seeing him come home. And that's excruciating because I have to go back and explain, no, honey, like, dad's not going to be there. His body got hurt, dad died, and then it just, like, starts all over. As the investigation into who killed Jared Bridegan continues, Jacksonville Beach Police Sergeant Tanya Tater says they have received hundreds of tips, many about the whereabouts of this blue Ford F-150 believed to be connected to the murder. Every tip that comes in to us has to be investigated uh, to the fullest until we have nothing else to go on that tip. So that's time consuming within itself. The truck so far, though, has not been located. But Sergeant Tater says don't mistake investigators' silence for inaction. Just because the department has not released more information doesn't mean it isn't coming in. She says the department isn't just after the shooter, but anyone who may have helped. If you are scared, reach out to us, let us know, you know, that you're scared, but you do have information that can help with this case, and we will most certainly work with you. I heard a quote once, I think it was, the wheels of justice are slow, but they turn. Yes. Is that kind of where we are here? Yes, yes. It, it, it's a slow process. Every day, detectives are working on it. Right now, no suspects or persons of interest have been named. In the national media, though, there has been much speculation about Bridegan's acrimonious divorce from his first wife, Shayna Gardner Fernandez. One story claimed that she asked a local tattoo artist about someone who could, quote, shut him up, end quote. In an interview with our news partners at the Florida Times Union, she called the implications that she was involved sensationalistic and inaccurate, and she felt threatened by the scrutiny. But Kirsten Bridegan wants to make sure Jared's story isn't forgotten, creating an Instagram, Justice for Jared B., and speaking to news outlets across the nation, but always in the back of her mind, the fear. But there is a part of me that does worry about me being so vocal and me fighting so much that they could try to hurt me or Bexley because Bexley was there. Daddy, I, flower. I see it, that's a beautiful flower. She says another tragedy in the midst of her husband's murder is that people now remember him for how he died and not the man and father that he was to his twins from his first marriage and his two children with her. Um, so he would spend countless hours just making up activities to do together. He wrote jokes in their lunch every single day when they went to school. <laughs> He's just a, a quality guy who cared about the people in his life. It's a sentiment echoed by Jared Bridegan's brother, Adam. And in many regards, I looked up to him as a father and as a husband, just the way that he treated not only Kirsten, but his, his kids. I, I know I was able to watch him and learn from him as far as how he treated them. The list goes on as far as how many lives have been shattered by this tragedy. And all of us are suffering and we live in this fear and there is no accountability yet. There are no answers. We need those answers. Answers that will help Kirsten Bridegan get through these tough moments. What do you hope the next six months bring? I hope it brings justice. I hope that those who were involved in his murder are caught. I hope that we can get to a trial quickly. Um, I, I just hope that there's a resolution and that I can answer Bexley when she asks me why. 
We did reach out to the lawyer for Shanna Gardner Fernandez for a comment on this story and he declined. If you know anything about the murder of Jared Brightigan, please contact Crime Stoppers at the number you see here or you can contact the Jacksonville Beach Police Department. Katie Jeffries, First Coast News on your side.